everyone, hope you're all well. Um, so I wanted to do a roundup of all my favorite things of this year. So um, I've got my cup of tea, because <laughs> this is gonna be a long one, but my tea's kind of got cold because it's taken me so long to set up. Let me take a sip. There are so many things, so I'm gonna, okay. I've got skincare, makeup, bit of hair care, tiny bit, um, and some perfume. I didn't think I should do like lifestyle as well in this video because it will be <laughs> like two hours long. So this is probably gonna be quite a long video for me. I hope you guys like it. We can kind of chill and just have a little chat and have a little, I don't know, like mosey through everything I've been loving. I think I'll start with skincare because I've just got all my skincare right next to me here. Face masks that I've been loving all throughout the year. Firstly, this one, Origins Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. I have loved this this year. It smells amazing. I think I've got two clay masks. Yeah, this one and this one. This one is a lot more uh, affordable. Uh, I love, or I've always loved Origins as a brand anyway. I've loved them for years. My skin's quite normal recently, but with a, I do get a little bit oily around my nose, around my chin, um, and sometimes I break out. So this, if you've got skin like mine, which does get oily, um, this is great. I just find it a really calming mask to use at the end of the day. Um, it, le it doesn't dry my skin out, because I've tried a lot of clay masks that really dry my skin out. The next um, clay mask is the Sean Takai, I think it's pronounced, um, Detox Clay Mask with Rosemary and Honey. This smell of oh, this, this, this smells amazing, firstly. Oh my God. I love how it looks. It's, it's this dark clay. Um, it feels a lot more kind of natural than the Origins one does. This is even less drying than the Origins one. Doesn't dry my skin out at all. Really, really clarifies it. I use it when I've been having a bit of a shit time with my skin and I've been breaking out a little bit. And this always, does the job. I just can't say enough good things about this. Very pricey, but if you do want to spend a little bit more on a face mask um, and you do have quite problematic skin, I would highly recommend this. And the last face mask is this, another Origins one. This is the Drink Up Intensive Face Mask. Uh, no, sorry, well, this is an overnight mask. I mean, you, maybe you can use this as a face mask. I usually use it just overnight. I love this so much, and I'm not that into hydrating masks because I don't feel like my skin needs it. But sometimes when I've had like a really long day or something and I just want, I just need a bit of uh, life back in my skin, um, by the time I wake up, my skin looks plump, healthy, glowy. When I wake up, I feel like my skin is just clearer. So yeah, I love this. This is like, magic cream for me. Okay, let's move on to day and night creams, the ones that I've been reaching for pretty much all year. Firstly, I have to have to mention this one. It's Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. So many people talk about this. It's such kind of, one. it's one of their cult products, I feel like. Um, the reason I love this, it's very inoffensive. It, oh, it has a really, really subtle, it smells a bit like E45 cream, actually. Really subtle smell. It's very gentle. The reason I love this is because no matter what, um, no matter what condition my skin is in, it always works really well. I find that it's a lovely, ugh, it's a lovely daily moisturizer to apply makeup on top of as well. Makeup just kind of glides on top of it really easily. Um, it lasts you forever, you get loads of it in a tub. Itchy nose. <laughs> it's very hydrating. Can't say enough good things about this. So that's like a go, that's like a, it's like a holy grail daily moisturizer. So for a daily moisturizer that I've uh, discovered a lot later in the year, Kate Somerville Goat Milk. And I've heard so much about this for like over a year. It's really funny because at first I wasn't blown away by this. I was like, why does everyone talk about this? Like it's, <laughs> it didn't really wow me or anything at the beginning, but um. I, then I just kept grabbing for it. Like I, I grabbed for it a lot um, over the last few months and I haven't actually mentioned it on my channel yet. I don't know why, but the reason I like it is because it's very gentle. Again, it's very gentle on my skin. Um, it never flares me up, breaks me out. I think it's amazing if you've got sensitive skin. Um, I also love the packaging because you press this down and a bit comes out. This There's a little hole there, a bit like a nipple. <laughs> comes out and it's just really e quick and easy to use in the morning. I love the packaging and I love the product. It's great. So I really want to try more from Kate Somerville. Hard to get hold of in the UK though. I'll try and see if there's anywhere in the UK we can get it. Okay, oh, night cream. I've been using this for much, I think since spring. Um, it's the Clarins uh, Multi-Active Nui. Um, I love this. <laughs> I've been using this so much. I've been using it pretty much all throughout my pregnancy because there were so many night creams that I couldn't, or, you know, they said like not to use because I'm pregnant. And so many of them had acids in and this, I just felt like was 
it was just a simple, lovely cream to use in the at night. Um, very replenishing, very hydrating. Oh, such a nice calming smell. Um, you can see I've like reached the bottom. So it's been by my bedside just for so long. So I had to give it a little mention. Then um, for a fancy overnight like skin product, I haven't used this for quite a while because I don't think you're supposed to use it while you're pregnant, meh. But um, it's the Sarah Chapman Overnight Facial. I've loved this for so long. So I used this a lot more before I was pregnant and I absolutely love it. I love the smell of it. It's, I think it's got this like lavendery scent. It's very, very light oil. It's uh, almost like a dry oil. Not exactly, but it doesn't feel, it doesn't clog your skin up. Afterwards in the morning, my skin feels, it's, very, it's a very luxurious product, I feel very treated after I've used it. A face oil I've been loving this year. Um, I haven't been using that many because, oh, actually, there, I do have another one. Okay, I got two. Um, this is the one that I have been using a lot more. It's from Guerlain and it's um, face treatment oil, extract of honeys, firming, lift and tone. I don't know how to explain this, but whenever I use it, I feel like my skin looks amazing in the morning and that's basically all you want from, you know, a luxury <laughs> skincare product. Again, it's a light oil, so it doesn't feel horrible and cloggy for your skin. But I haven't really heard that many people talk about it. For me, it just ticks all the boxes. It's very calming, soothing, hydrating. And then another face oil that I haven't been using as much because you can't use this while you're pregnant. Um, but it's Luna and I just had to give it a bit of a mention because before I was pregnant this oh, I loved this um, It's so powerful. It does such an amazing job at resurfacing your skin reduces pore size improves appearance of damaged skin and helps uh, fight wrinkles um, So yeah, I'll be using this again after I've had the baby a pricey product But it's such a cult product already. It hasn't even been out You know, it hasn't really been on the market for that long and it's so cult um, and it's, it is amazing. I wake up and my skin is so much clearer in the morning. A serum. So I've tried out quite a lot of serums over the last year or so, and this one I've just been using the most. It's from Neil's Yard, and it's the Wild Rose Beauty Elixir. It has a lovely fresh rose scent. I love the consistency of this. It's very silky, and it just glides over the skin, and it's just, oh, it's so soft. It smells amazing. Um, I love to use this at night time before I go to bed. It says it's radiance boosting, which I would agree with actually, but it's lasted me for so long and I've had it for so long, but I really fell in love with it. So yeah. Next, what have we got? Oh, Pixie Glow Tonic. I, you can see because I've gone through it quite a lot, but I love this. Like I've been using it for longer than this year. It just helps brighten up my skin, clear, clear my skin. It just make it a bit more glowy, like it says. This is really well known but kind of does what it says and love it. I love the packaging as well. Uh, oh, another toner. Um, this is what I've been using and since like way back at the beginning of the year. It's the Kiehl's Calendula um, Herbal Extract Toner, alcohol free. And it, I love it because it has um, tea leaves inside. You can see them like floating around. It's very simple, gentle, very soothing and calming if you're into that sort of thing. I love the smell. It's very tea-like. Oh, if you love tea, you'll love this. Um, yeah, again, it lasts me for so long. Like I never bloody run out of it, but it's kind of good. I'm not that into toners, like just normal toners. I find them a bit of a faff to, you know, it's a bit of a faff step in your skincare routine, but I enjoy using this. So this is kind of the only one that I reach for. Penny, take the day off cleansing balm. I've mentioned this so many times on my channel, so I won't go on about it, but um, it's a it's kind of like a lardy consistency, um, but this is amazing. This has been such, an, such a good find, like for me over the last few years. I use it every single day. I use it for my first cleanse to get my makeup off and it just gets everything off. I love it. I use it with a hot, uh, a hot cloth and yeah, just does the job. Um, I've got a bath product. I love this so much, I had to include it. So this is the Aromatherapy Associates, who I love. I think they're just a favorite anyway this year because I had a massage there um, a few months ago and it was amazing. Uh, I've been using this on and off. Um, it's just magical. <laughs> This is the Clear Mind Bath and Shower Oil. It smells like an absolute dream. It makes you, it just makes your bathroom smell like you're in a spa. It's, 
ultra relaxing. Just, you can't get anything more relaxing than this. This is another thing I wanna talk about. This is the um, Sleep Plus Pillow Spray or the Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. So this is like an even stronger version of how relaxing this is, if that makes sense. It's not cheap, but 100% worth it. I haven't found one that's as good as this for the bath. It's just magic. <laughs> Um, so I wanted to mention this pillow spray as well because I use this every single day, well every single, blah, 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 every single night. If you ever need a bit of help getting to sleep, you might just want to give it a try. I feel like everyone's tried this, it's very well known, it's kind of like a cult product anyway. But I also love this works as a brand, they do so many lovely products but this is definitely my favourite. Um, I love bringing this with me whenever I travel as well because it kind of um brings me back home in a way if i'm in like a weird hotel or something <laughs> on my own it helps me to get to sleep okay i've got two body products the first one is this garnier um ultimate beauty oil i've been lo i've loved this since i discovered it i've mentioned it before on my channel but it's really inexpensive and i love the smell i think the smell so it smells so much more expensive than it is. It's nourishing, it makes you smell lovely, it doesn't linger on the skin, it doesn't like, you're not slipping and sliding everywhere because it's oily, it sinks in really quickly. Um, and then a slightly different sort of body favourite is just the Kiehl's Creme de Corps. I feel like I always say this wrong, everyone kind of like goes mad when you say this, but in English it looks like creme de corpse. <laughs> but anyway, this is an amazing body cream and I'm someone who was always like you, I just feel like you shouldn't spend that much on body cream. But this is, this is just, it is amazing. Like it is worth spending a little bit more on the Kiehl's one. If you do want a super indulgent, but like fast working, fast sinking in body cream, definitely check it out. They do this in a, I think it's like a soy and honey scent as well, but I really like the original. Especially lovely in winter because it is quite a thick cream. Um, I think they do a lighter version as well, but I quite like the thick version even in summer. The smell at first I didn't like, but now I'm just really used to it and kind of get on with it. Um, I think it's great if you have sensitive skin because it's not you know, it's very, again, it's gentle. I've been loving everything gentle this year. I get quite dry legs, so it's great if you get quite dry skin. Um, it will just sort you out all day, basically. <laughs> okay, so for hair, I get bored talking about hair <laughs> a lot of the time. So I've just got two products. Well, actually three. Um, I've got the, I love these. I know there's quite a lot of Kiehl's in this video, but I, love, I do love Kiehl's. Um, it's the Amino Acid uh, Shampoo and Conditioner. These are so different to any other shampoo and conditioner that I've tried um, because they're very gentle, but they're really effective as well. Um, and I've tried, like I've tried really fancy ones and I just love these more than so many of the other fancy ones that I've tried on my hair. Um, also great if you have like extensions, if you have weave. Obviously this type of hair dries out quite easy. It can dry out quite easily. Like this doesn't dry your hair out and it's just very simple, contains coconut oil as well. And then the conditioner, oh, just leaves my hair, it just makes my hair feel so silky, it's light, um, you know, it doesn't take ages to wash out. Pure coconut and jojoba oils, paraben free, silicone free. Do try them out, also they do them in mini sizes, so if you wanna just try them out and not without getting the massive size. Then the next thing is the Orbe Apre Beach um, Wave and Shine Spray. I've talked about this so many times on my channel, so again, I won't go on and on about it, but I, I just love this stuff. Like It just gives you like, salon style waves really quickly and easily. If your hair doesn't react well to build up, don't, well, I wouldn't use a lot of this at once because I feel like it can build up quite quickly. So if you've got kind of thicker hair, it might react, it might respond better to this product. I feel like it's great for shoots as well. If you like, cause we've been doing some shoots for NNK this year as well. If you need hair to look a certain way quickly, and stay that way. All right, we're done with skincare and stuff like that. I've got four perfumes that I've, they've been the ones that I've been grabbing for the most this year. So I'll start with ones that I was grabbing more in like spring, summer. Firstly, Replica, um, Lazy Sunday Morning. I love this so much. I think the most popular one is Beach Walk, which I also love, but this one, there's something about it. I love it more. I've already got it on, but I'm gonna put more on. <laughs> Ugh. Soft skin and bed linen. It's like calm and bright, brightening like at the same time. It's like a no fuss fragrance. It's just such an easy fragrance. It's not like sickening and sweet and everything as a female fragrance. It's quite light. Not as light though <laughs> as Blanche. Um, this is 
this has more oomph to it than this. This I've also been loving. Anyway, I pronounce it Brado. I love so many of their scents. Like I've only got one, but I love them all when I go and smell them. The simplicity of this, I love it. It just smells like cotton. I don't know what it is. It's like fresh cotton or something. <laughs> but um, it's such, again, a fuss-free one. That's what I was loving a lot this summer. I wasn't really into the sweet scents as much this summer. I was really more, more so into the fresh and light scents. Um, just go and smell it. I don't know how else to explain it. Then I was reaching a lot for Erin Amber Musk. I love so many of the Erin scents. I've only got one again, but um, obviously, oh, it's just it's just gorgeous. It's like a velvety, amber, warm sort of fragrance. It's so feminine. Next, which is quite uh, very different to the other ones, is Tom Ford Noir. Yeah, Tom Ford Noir. This is the fragrance that I say that, like, I feel like this is my signature fragrance. Whenever I just, I want to really feel like myself, if I want to feel really switched on, and if I want a, a, like a punch of confidence that day, I always put this on. Like, if it's summer, winter, I don't care. But it's very, it's very heavy. Oh, it's just so sexy. I also don't smell it on many people, which I really like. Go and give it a smell because I'm really bad at explaining scents, but kind of heady and sexy and slightly musky, but mostly sexy. I think I'm going to split these videos up and next I'm going to do uh, one on all my favourite makeup products of the year. So um, it will be coming up really soon. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Just keep an eye out for part two because I'm about to film it right now and it won't be long till it's up. Anyway, I'm not explaining this very well. I'll link everything down below if I can. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.